Hello, this is Dr. Amanda Schroeder, meteorologist at your National Weather Service office here in Fort Worth, Texas. This is a severe weather briefing for the possibility of severe storms Monday or Monday night across north and central Texas. This briefing was recorded Sunday evening, November 15, 2015. Much of north and central Texas is under an enhanced risk for severe weather for Monday and Monday night, which is denoted by the red shaded area in this image. This covers locations along and northwest of a line from Greenville to Corsicana to Waco to Colleen. The remainder of the region is included in a slight risk of severe storms for Monday and Monday night. What's the difference between the two areas? Well, the enhanced risk area simply means that there's a better chance of severe storms affecting an area than in the slight risk area. It does not necessarily mean that storms will be more intense in the red shaded area. However, there's probably going to be more severe storms in the red area compared to the yellow. The storms in each area could be equally intense, so don't let your guard down if you happen to live in the yellow shaded or slight risk area. At this time, we expect that most of the severe weather will impact north and central Texas Monday night, after midnight. A large line of storms, what meteorologists call a squall line, is expected to develop out in the Texas Panhandle region Monday evening and then move east into north central Texas Monday night into early Tuesday morning. By far, the most likely threat from this line of storms is the potential for straight line wind damage. Damaging winds are very likely to occur in strong segments along the squall line. It is also possible that isolated tornadoes will develop within this squall line. Tornadoes will not affect most people, but wherever they occur, they are capable of producing small swaths of significant damage. Large hail and flash flooding are also possible with this line of storms, but these threats are expected to be less likely, mainly due to the fast forecast speed of these storms. If isolated storms develop across the region Monday afternoon, though, they would be more likely to produce large hail and tornadoes. However, at this time, the chances for isolated severe storms Monday afternoon appears to be low. Okay, so we're expecting a squall line of thunderstorms, and the squall line is the main threat to produce severe weather across north and central Texas. So when is it going to affect your particular location? This graphic shows a forecast for what the radar may look like starting tomorrow night. At 9 p.m., the squall line is expected to be organizing over west central Texas, just east of the Texas Panhandle. The squall line is expected to be well west of north central Texas at this time. Around midnight, the squall line is expected to move into the western portions of north central Texas. Where is that exactly? Well, generally along a line from Wichita Falls to Breckenridge to Ranger Hill on I-20 near Cisco. Between 3 and 5 a.m., is the most likely time that the squall line will move east across the DFW Metroplex and the I-35 corridor. And by 8 a.m., the squall line is expected to be moving east away from north and central Texas and should be along or east of a line from Paris to Tyler to Palestine at this time. Remember, the highest threat for severe weather is expected to occur with this squall line. With the forecast calling for the possibility of severe weather Monday and Monday night, now is the time to make sure you have a severe weather action plan and know how you will get pertinent weather information. If a severe weather watch is issued, pay close attention to the weather and make sure you are ready to take action on short notice if a severe weather warning is issued. If you are under a severe weather warning, this means that severe weather is occurring or will occur shortly at your location. The bottom line is, have a plan in place before severe weather affects you. Thank you for joining us for this briefing. If you have any questions or comments regarding this briefing, please email us at sr-fwd.webmaster at noaa.gov. For more information, including the latest forecast, please visit our webpage at weather.gov slash Fort Worth.